Everybody, welcome back to Sweet Siri Equine and as always thanks for tuning in so it's been a while since we've done a live and it's because the weather's been nice and I've been riding but I should film that so I thought today um, I would film within the trailer because that's I think the best angle that we're gonna get for what I want to show but um, what I've been working on with charming yesterday was loading the trailer so we're getting close to the show season and he's gonna have to um, go for trailer rides and he's been on one um, his long haul from Missouri to Montana and we left this um, back of the trailer just open for him but um, when you're trailering more than one horse that's not an option at least I don't want it to be for their safety so uh, I need to teach him to load in the trailer come in here and let me shut him in this um, divider here, like this so this is where they stand and with it shut and I need him to be able to come in here um, on his own because I don't like to be in the trailer with them when they load and be able to feel okay and not panic when he's shut in here and it makes some noises and it can be scary so that's what I've been working on with him is trying to get him to load in the trailer and be comfortable with it so um, before I get him and get going I kind of want to talk through I've haven't filmed all of it, so I want to kind of talk through the progression I've made with him so far. Um, in case maybe you're trying to recreate that or maybe you're having issues and you want to troubleshoot. So, um, my philosophy on trailer loading is the more that they do on their own, the safer you're going to be. So that means if I don't have to be in here with them to load them, perfect. That's my goal. So Alex is a good example. Right now when I trailer load him, I stand on the outside of the trailer. I ask him to go in and he comes in to his spot right here and stands there and I shut the door on him and he's loaded. So I didn't have to come into the trailer and I don't even have to fully walk into the trailer. I just have to come out to right where this divider is here and then push it in when he's in here. So even then if something squarely goes awry, I'm right at the door and I can jump out. Um, this is a tight space and if they do panic, and you're in here, you got to really watch yourself and know your way out and don't put yourself in a tight situation. So, for example, if I was to load the horse on the other side here and I was right here between the horse um, and this divider, I'm putting myself in a really potentially harmful position if he decides he wants to jam me against this divider or opposite here. So maybe you're standing on his butt and he decides that he's going to wail out this way and this can happen. Um, where they pin you with their butt like this. And that's a really dangerous situation for you to be in because you're between the horse and the wall and the horse is a flight animal. If they panic, I mean, I'm sorry. They don't care about you in that moment, they're flighting. So they sometimes don't think about what they're doing. They're not trying to hurt you, but you just have to think about where you're putting yourself in these tight corners with the horses and what's the worst case scenario and try to avoid that. That's really just kind of keep that in the back of your mind of am I putting myself in a bad situation so um, that's where my philosophy is is the um, more you can get them to do on your own the safer you're going to be in here because you'll most likely not have to be in here so the same concept when so I ask them to load from the outside in and I lock them in I don't even do up um, I have these little trailer ties in here I don't even do up the trailer ties when I put them in, quite honestly. I lock them in and I come over to the drop down window over here and hook them up through the window. And that's a lot safer because what can happen, like I was just saying, is you load them in, you're squirreling around with getting this on, and they decide they're going to back out because you haven't shut them in. And now you're up here in this space like I was telling you and you're potentially in a bad spot. So um, that's how I like to do it. I load them in, I lock them in, I latch them in one at a time, I go around to the window, I unhook the snap off the lead rope, and I attach this trailer tie that's in here. And this is a safety release, so if an accident were to happen, this should break in an accident. I have a latch over here. Um, I should have to be cutting this off. So that's why I like to do it. I take their lead ropes off, um, but there's lots of different ways to do it, so I'm not suggesting that my way is the end all, but that's just how I like to do it. So when it comes to unloading, the same kind of thing. 
um, I like them to do more. So it just goes the opposite of what I kind of told you. I through the window, take off the trailer tie, I take the snap with the lead rope, put that on, and I take this end of the lead rope through the window. It's kind of tricky to do, but I loop it over their neck. So it's sitting on them, the horse is here, and their halter's on. This is hanging over their neck so they won't step on it. Okay, so the point of that being is when I back them out, they come out, I grab the lead rope, um, when their neck passes my reach and then I have them because I don't come in here with them and I don't grab them so what happens so I've got them attached now I got the lead rope on down their neck I come in here I have my horse like this and I go okay time to ready to get out I open this up and I walk this way and I tell him to back and he will start backing out and now if you have a horse that wants to turn around you can either get a stick or a whip or something sometimes I just put my hand out and you stand here and you just remind them hey back out and as soon as they start backing out you go with them and you stay here on their butt and you step out follow them follow them grab their halter and you're over here on the side but you can't see me so that's how I like to load and that's how I'm what that's my goal with teaching them is um, that's the end goal so that's how I gear them up to teach them. So I teach them the load, put their feet in from the outside. I teach them the back up on their own and I never let them turn. So if you let your horse turn when they're little cause they can maneuver in the trailer cause they're smaller and you think, oh, it's easier for them. Well, what happens when they're older, like the size of a 17 hand horse like Alex, if they can't do that, they're gonna get stuck and they're gonna panic and that's a bad situation. So my horses, they never get to turn and walk front out ever they always back up so that's just another thing when you're teaching babies it's really easy just to let them oh good boy you got on the trailer and now we can just walk off because that's easier for you because when they back off if you don't have a ramp on here it can be scary because they're having to take a big step that they can't see and that can be the hardest part of what teaching them to load can be is just getting them to trust that they can step and telling them when to step and that they're going to be fine. So it's tempting to say, good, you got on. Now you don't want to back off because you're scared. You've got to just let them back off and figure it out. So to start trailer loading, say you have a horse that's ever done or you have one that's hard to load. If I have one that's hard to load, I just start over again. I start, I treat them as if they are a brand new colt that doesn't know what they're doing so it all starts on the ground before you ever start trailer loading you need to teach them some things before you start asking to do so the things that you teach them are when I have your lead rope on your halter on and I like to do this with a little dressage whip just because it's smaller and easier to handle but I say because this is my horse I teach them with my arm up arm up with the whip go forward and I'll tap them go forward that means go forward they need to be able to lead you need to be able to back them up um what else if they are troublesome you might teach them to be able to move their hind quarters with your stick just so when you're out here and they start to get weary or whatever that they know that you can cue them to move their butt over so start with just your basic groundwork before you start ever loading them and if you have some kind of equipment around in your barn or um, in your garage even like a you know like a wood block or something that they can step up onto that's a really good progression I just progress to the trailer because I don't have like a wood block thing I could find that but um, that is a nice way I taught Alex that way because the barn we at had one and you teach them to step up on just something first before the trailer is ever um, brought into that picture. So you just teach them, okay, go forward, put your front feet up. Um, sometimes you get all of their feet up and then back them off of it. And that's a really good way to teach them that concept of if you don't have a ramp, a ramp makes things a little bit easier. Um, but that teaches them, okay, this means step up. I put my front feet on this thing. So with Charming, I didn't use a wood block. I just taught him from here, 
standing outside, go forward, tap, tap, can you put your feet up? And it starts really slow. So it took me, I would say, a good solid seven days of consistent back-to-back -back everyday working with Charming to get him to put all four feet in this trailer. Not even walking up to where you're stand seeing me stand here, all four feet in the trailer back here, okay? So it's a slow progression. And the slower you take it with them, the more comfortable they're gonna be because you want this place, this trailer, to be a relaxing place. Out there, that could be a different story. That could be hard. You might have to walk around if you're gonna be difficult to get in. But in here, there's food right behind you. You can't see, there's hay. Um, I'll usually do treats in my pocket and put treats up here for them so it promotes them to come all the way in. Treat them, treat them, treat them. This is a really cool place to be. This is a comfortable place to be and we're not stressed out to be in here. And when you're first starting, do not ever pull on them to keep them in. If they feel the need they need to back out, let them back out. So even if it's one foot there. Don't pull on your horse to say, no, stay here, if they're deciding they want to leave. Instead, act like you cued it. Ask, like, act like you cued them the back up. So what I mean is sometimes you'll get a horse that comes in, they want to back out, they come in, and Alex was like this. It took a long time. Come in, come out, come in, come out, come in, come out. And it's really tempting just to be like, once they're in, just to be like, hold them in, hold them here, stay here, you're in the trailer. Yes, I got you in the trailer. And then they start, and then you hold them, and they panic, and they throw their head up, and this is a lower ceiling. They can hurt themselves. And two, you don't want them to feel trapped in here. So I'm talking back to that comfort level. If they know how to get out of this and they're worried about it, in the very beginning, if they know they can get out, they know they can get out, then they feel better about it once you put them in. The more and more you put them in, they're like, oh, this is fine. Okay, I know how to get out. I know how to get out on my own. So back to teaching them, so Charming's first day, all I wanted him to do was be able to send him up to the trailer, not even put a foot in, sniff the ground, sniff it, be curious about it, sniff this outside door. And he did that. And he also put his front foot in because horses, when they're curious, will paw at something. And he did that. And he put his first foot in. And that was our first day. And these sessions don't have to be long. I think it was like 15, 20 minutes a day, something to that effect. The next day, front foot in put your front foot in he did that now ask for two ask for two feet and that was the second day we got two free on the trailer right here okay and I think the next day that's where we landed too so day three was still just front feet in the trailer he was pretty unsure about it day day four I think it was the same effect I told you it took seven days and it wasn't until the sixth and seventh day that I got all um, all feet in. So fourth day, front two feet in, and towards the end of the session, I think he put his back third leg on. And that's pretty good. And I just marked those milestones. And I don't just stop there like, okay, you put two front end feet in, you're, you're good to go. I make them do it a couple times, and then I say, okay, we're done. I don't drill it, they're babies. And a scared horse too, I don't drill it into them. So um, on the sixth day, asked him, load up, front feet on, back feet, all of them were on, great. And now you have to teach them the backing out, and that's what can be worrisome. So teaching him the back out, telling him to step when his back foot is about to go off that ledge so he has some kind of cue that that is coming for him. So that's where I left it about a month or two ago. Now I've come back to it because we are going to trailer soon, and I want to practice doing trailers rides. So I want to get him in. I want to be able to shut this divider. I want to get him hooked up. And then eventually I want to take him for a short little trip down the road. Um, do a couple of those before we go and commit to the long haul. Because I just really want him to be comfortable and it does take some time. So what I started yesterday and what to spark this video is to start loading him again. So yesterday um, I started fresh. I didn't know how much he would remember of it. So I was going to be happy if he just got his four feet in here, right? I wasn't gonna work on shutting this door on him quite yet. I just wanted him to remember, okay, what's this about? What are we gonna do? So yesterday I got him all the way up. He willingly came all the way up here a couple times, backed out, it was good. He kind of hit his butt on here and that startled him a little bit, but he 
knows now and what was kind of cool is that when he did get worried he goes oh yeah I just back out and it wasn't a scary thing at all so he knows how to get out um, he knows how to get in and that's kind of where I'm gonna start today so I'm working towards getting him in and loaded here and I might need um, Nathan to come help me or another person to come help me hold him here because I think he still kind of um, needs some comfort and not just being totally left alone. So what we'll do is I'll get him loaded here and once he's comfortable and maybe if he's really good I can shut this all on my own with him and shutting this. But if not, I'll get um, a helper to come out and stand on this window on the other side that you can't see and when I get him up here, hand him off and let them pet him and let them pet him and let me walk out and start messing with shutting this on him, you know? And then once you get them shut in, other than, and they're feeling comfortable, um, that's kind of it. You know, you, you've gotten it done, you've gotten them there. So you just gotta practice that over and over and over and over again to where one, they're comfortable, and two, you can do it without being in the trailer with them. So that's my goal. Um, I do have to walk into the trailer right now with Charmy. He'll only put his two front feet up there by himself with me out here. He will come into the trailer if I lead him in. So I'm not too picky at the moment about that because he is smaller, but I will eventually get him loading in here all by himself. But I also just don't want to drill that too hard into him. I want him just to feel comfortable walking up and in. So that's where we're going to start today. Um, I'll show a couple loads since this is already going a little bit long because I'm jabbing a lot, but um, let me go get him and I'll kind of show the first couple of um, load ins and you can't really see it all that well but um, we'll go get him and do that so be right there or be right back all right so now I have my horse and I'm just coming in to talk a little bit but here's the Nishaz whip that I'm telling you about and he's ready to get in um, I'll just use this as like an extension of my hand. It's not really to get him to do much more than that. But I'm going to step on the outside of the trailer and see how willing he is to go in today. Because I like to start there. So what I do, if you can see, is I put my hand up and I send him and tap, tap, tap. Good boy. So he just has his front feet in right now. And I let him back off. If you have one that wants to just back off on their own, try to catch it before you can anticipate it and then start to make it like it was your idea rather than his idea. Because the idea is that they're going to get on and they're going to wait for your cue oh boy, to back off like that. I just asked him to back and see these little crickets. So I'm going to ask him to go and see if he can go all by himself. Too sure about it. There he goes. Okay. So I'm gonna come in here with him for the first couple times. And he steps on me, talking about situations. <laughs> um, yeah, that was kind of stinky of you. So he's thinking I'm gonna back him off because I don't like how the angle he's standing at. So I'm going to ask him to move his hind that way. Good boy. And I'm going to ask him to load. And all four legs. Good boy. And I want him to stand here. Don't want him to quite angle yet. I'm going to stand here and I'm going to treat him. And he's not overly worried. If they're really worried, they're going to back off right away. That's how Alex was. He's getting more comfortable every day. And he's a little worried. He's like, okay. Let me check this out. Cool. And now I'm going to ask him back. 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 Step. 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 Good boy. Back. Good boy. So now he wants to come back on, and that's cool. So I'm going to let him think about that for a minute. He walked on nicely. So now let's ask him again. That was a little less graceful, and that's kind of how it goes. He's trying to figure it out. It's hard. 
the best way to get his feet in there. And so sometimes he jumps on and whatever, you're trying whatever way you need to get on. He'll eventually be a little bit more graceful. Um, yeah, so now he's on here. Let's give him some pets. He wants some treats and that's good. He means he's willing to eat. It means he's comfortable, not so anxious. Let him stand here for a little bit. So I'm not actually asking him to come up here and tie. If he wants to do that, I'm going to take it. But I doubt, like, this is a weird thing that I have here. So that might be funky. But um, just let him stand here. Get used to it. Because that's what they're going to do in a horse trailer. Is they're just going to stand here and eat some food. And he's not asking to back out. Like, I'll, if he wants to back out, I'll let him back out. Now we're getting the lick and that's great. Yeah, that's a good job. Alright, so now I'm going to ask him to back out. So, same thing, back. And now he's getting worried about having to back off the back. So I'm just going to do one step at a time and say, okay, it's okay. But he's getting worried about that backing off. If you can kind of see back here, I don't know quite what the angle looks like, but he's starting to do this when he's anticipating that drop. So I'll just ask him slow, back. You just gotta do it over and over again. So that's the basics of where we go. Um, so we're gonna do that a few more times. I'll save you the time of watching that, but um, hopefully that's helpful. And if you have other questions, um, or if you wanna see Alex loading, cause he is the golden child, he knows how to do it. Um, we'll show that. So as always, thanks for watching. And if this video helped you anyway, give it a like, or if you have any requests, you can leave a comment below. Thank you. And then they load all by themselves. And I'm trying to do this video. Step.